Basement Engineer here, and today we'll take a look at a couple of wind turbines I designed for the Kid Wind Contest. I certainly did not start at this point, with the turbine utilizing a three-phase generator and hand-cut gears. Beginning with the basics, I needed to learn how electricity and magnetism were related. By constructing a simple motor with a magnet and some paper clips, I learned some important things. First, magnetism rapidly drops off over distance. Second, bearing friction is a huge factor. And third, equally distributing weight can increase speed and decrease friction. I based my first design off of a simple hobby motor. I decided to try and replicate it the best I could with my limited woodworking skills. Using a thick dowel as the shaft and sheet metal strips as the commutator, it certainly wasn't precise in any way. I inlaid some neodymium magnets in a hexagonal stack of plywood, as a circular shaped frame wouldn't work well with the flat magnets. This resulted in terrible and uneven tolerances in between the coils and the magnetic field. Now I will only briefly mention the styrofoam blades I used to power this. Needless to say, nearly every variable of my first attempt could be improved drastically. So I salvaged the parts after competition day and began the next turbine. It was a rough start. After reading up on professionally made turbines, I wanted to make an AC generator and later rectify it to DC. My first attempt, however, was headed down the same road as the last turbine. I decided to scrap it and do it right starting with the uniform stator. This would help to allow the magnets to be much closer to the coils. After rewinding some of the coils to match, I bound them to the wood with fishing line. This was as good as I could get it. I, the magnet rotor needed replacing as well. I began to construct one with styrofoam and sheet metal, but the styrofoam wouldn't stay flat like I needed it to. Luckily, my father jumped on board and bought a large sheet of acrylic. I could then inlay the powerful magnets with epoxy and achieve a smooth finish. I didn't have a big enough gear, so I decided to make one on the bandsaw. That required further modifications to the base. watched my project video, that was one of my first major projects. This is my current project, it is a Tesla coil. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it and thanks for watching.